Hello to all Pony Club members. My name is Claire Balding. I have written two books about horses. The first one was called The Race Horse Who Wouldn't Gallop. And the second one, which is out now, is called The Race Horse Who Disappeared. It is about how I think girls and boys identify with ponies and horses and how you teach a racehorse in this example to be something he doesn't think he can be. How do you give him the confidence to realize that he can be a world beater? And in this book, well, it's a thriller because a really bad thing happens and Noble Warrior, who's my racehorse, goes missing. And Charlie, who's the heroine of it, has to work out where he is and whether she can save him. So it's been really exciting to write. I've loved it. I've been to an awful lot of schools to talk to children about it. So to a lot of kids who don't understand as much as you do about ponies and horses. And that's been really fun, I think, trying to promote that message that actually we all of us can learn something from animals. And I think in particular, ponies don't offer us any respect and they won't do what we want them to do unless we are kind and patient and consistent. And you know that. I mean, you know, I've sat there rolling in the dirt, looking up at a pony who's just stopped violently at a show jump, feeling like a fool. And we've all been there. And then the next minute you feel like a champion and that's how life is. I was a member of the Pony Club, gosh, way back now in the late 1970s, early 1980s. And then I taught at Pony Club Camp at the RA. I taught for about three summers running in the late 80s. And the kids always really liked my ride because I wasn't very strict. And I also thought it was important to teach children about going fast because I come from a racing background. And although I did a lot of eventing and show jumping, I found dressage a little bit boring, let's be honest. I know it's very good for you and you've got to learn it and you've got to teach your horse to be obedient, but hey, it's all about slow paces. So I thought it was interesting to inject some fun and f speed into events. So we would bring a racing saddle in and we would be jockeys for the day. I don't thoroughly recommend it. It can, it can end in disaster. But one of the best things about the Pony Club, I think, was the friends I made and the things I learnt and spending all that time with your pony and actually mucking out and doing all your stable management and cleaning your attack. And I look at my nephews and my niece now doing it and how much, how much they improve because they're riding for four hours every day or four or five hours every day. And they really get good very, very quickly. So I love that. I have a question from you, which is when was the last time I was starstruck? Well, I wasn't starstruck to the point of not knowing what to say or do, but I was pretty impressed this summer when I met and interviewed Roger Federer for the first time. And I've watched him obviously play at Wimbledon for years and years, but I'd never actually interviewed him myself. He is a very impressive human being. I think everyone in the world should aspire to be like Roger Federer. Yeah. Right. You've asked me, you know, yes or no questions or this or that. So peas or baked beans, peas. Love peas. I do like baked beans, but they've got to be with toast. Can't eat them on their own or, or with a baked potato. That's nice. Can't also have baked beans anywhere near an egg. So cooked breakfasts are really difficult for me because I don't want the beans on the same plate as the egg. They just don't mix. It's not right. Brown sauce or ketchup? Well, I have brown sauce with bacon and ketchup with sausages. Beach holiday or city break? A combination of both is perfect, which I know is a cop out. But I do like a city break. I like exploring places. I get a little bit bored if I'm just on the beach. Need to do other things. So actually, if the choice was mountains or beach, I'd go mountains. But that wasn't the choice. Kittens or puppies? Love puppies. I do like kittens too, though. And they're funny and they, they seem to stay playful for a long, long time. And puppies do, but then puppies zonk out, don't they? And they get really tired and they just flop there. But yeah, give me a puppy every day. I think basically if you can see a puppy or dream of a puppy or have a puppy or hold a puppy, life is wonderful. Uh, crisps or chocolate? Do you know, when I was little, I hated chocolate. So Easter was always a nightmare. I didn't want chocolate. So I'd get given things like a mug or a plate, which wasn't quite what I was after. I was after sweets of another kind. Um, but now I do quite like chocolate, but I think I prefer crisps. I think overall I'd go crisps, yeah. It's kind of a sweet or savoury question. Anyway, that's enough from me. I hope that you will enjoy reading The Racehorse Who Disappeared. And I also hope there is another one to follow this and I know exactly what the plot is going to be. And I think for a lot of you in the Pony Club, it may be even more up your street. But anyway, enjoy this one for now and have a brilliant rest of the year.